He's been called a swashbuckler, a soldier of fortune, and a real-life Indiana Jones. But for Harold Sweet, flying in dangerous conditions was all in a day's work. Hal Sweet was a self-taught pilot who barnstormed his way across his native Utah during the Roaring Twenties. After a brief marriage, Sweet left the States in 1930 to live and work as a U.S. mail pilot in the Philippines, where he met and married Mabel Brazy and started a family. In 1937, Japan invaded China. This meant China was being cut off from supplies she couldn't manufacture for herself. Earlier that same year, Harold Sweet had hired on as a captain with the China National Aviation Corporation, or CNAC. CNAC was a joint venture between the nationalist Chinese government and Pan Am Airways. Flying with a mix of American and Chinese crews, CNAC pilots flew scheduled routes over some of the roughest terrain in the world. After the Sino-Japan War broke out, the Chinese Air Force seized CNAC's aircraft and forced the pilots to carry passengers, troops, and supplies in support of Chiang Kai-shek's Chinese nationalist government. Pan Am quickly moved its pilots stateside to fly safe domestic routes. But Harold Sweet, with a young family to support in the Philippines, wasn't about to leave. For four months in 1938, Hal Sweet was the only American pilot flying for CNAC. As a result, he soon became the airline's chief pilot and also served as the personal pilot for nationalist Chinese leader Chiang Kai-shek and Madame Chiang. The most curious incident involving CNAC happened in 1941. A DC-3 on a routine flight had landed at Suifu to gather information about Japanese activity in the area. Suddenly, enemy fighter planes appeared overhead and spotted the vulnerable DC-3 on the runway. The CNAC captain quickly moved his passengers and crew to safety as the Japanese began bombing. A 100-kilo bomb shattered the right wing of the DC-3 and caused minor damage to other parts of the airframe as well. The DC-3 was too valuable for CNAC to scrap and needed to be removed and repaired quickly. CNAC mechanics devised a plan to replace the damaged DC-3 wing with a shorter DC-2 wing so that it could be flown to their maintenance base in Hong Kong and properly repaired. They needed a pilot crazy enough to deliver the substitute wing to Suifu by flying with it attached to the underbelly of a DC-3. The first pilot they thought of for this harrowing mission was Captain Harold Sweet. With the wings slung under his aircraft, Sweet's plane was seriously overloaded. Nevertheless, Hal Sweet was confident that he could make it. He successfully delivered the replacement wing to the damaged DC-3, where maintenance crews unloaded it and began repairs. When the DC-2.5 was ready for flight, Captain Sweet was sick with dengue fever. Nevertheless, he returned to Suifu to pick up the jury-rigged plane and fly it back to Hong Kong for more permanent repairs. Other than some minor issues with the plane's stability, Sweet successfully flew the DC-2.5 and, and in the process became a minor celebrity. The DC-2.5 became as famous as any other plane in the world at the time, except for the Wright Flyer and the Spirit of St. Louis. Once the United States entered World War II, CNAC and Harold Sweet flew supplies from India to China after Japan had blockaded the Burma Road. Flying the Hump, as it was known, was a treacherous air route over the Himalayas, first scouted by Sweet and other CNAC pilots in 1941. Flying long distances over 15,000-foot mountain peaks, frequently in bad weather and dodging enemy fighters, Flying the Hump ultimately claimed over 135 aircraft and 168 airmen. But the danger did not deter Captain Sweet, nor any of his CNAC colleagues. In fact, many of the mercenary Flying Tigers, who flew American fighters for the Chinese Air Force, ended up joining CNAC as pilots. This was a natural fit for them, as CNAC had long been delivering supplies to the Flying Tigers in China. As the war wound down, Captain Harold Sweet left his position as CNAC's chief pilot. He returned to California to settle in with his family and operate an import-export business to the Orient. In a cruel twist of fate, Harold Sweet, having survived the dangers of wartime flying in China and the Far East, died at the young age of 43 while playing golf in California. His wife raised their seven children on her own, but the heroic legacy of mercenary pilot Harold Sweet and his DC-2.5 endures to this day.